the Mersey Estuary is an in-between world of land, sea and fresh water. A constantly shifting landscape, a harsh world of change. Varying salinity as fresh water hits salt. Temperature fluctuations as mud is exposed. Water where there was land and land where there was water. Many species cannot survive in such a hostile place. Yet estuaries like this are one of the UK's most extraordinary habitats. Andrea Druitt is Biodiversity Manager for the Mersey Gateway Environmental Trust. So we've got quite the unique mud here because we are in a tidal estuary and we have got this interchange between fresh water and salt water. So it is quite a, a, a different habitat that, that attracts specialists really. For those who can adapt to live here, or those who visit as they please, there are rich rewards to be had. Lack of competition and fertile sediments allows life to thrive. There's lots of microscopic life in here. There's worms in here, there's bugs in here. All sorts of things that birds would feed on. A pair of shell ducks sift the mud for their fill. They sift out tiny snails and other tasty mud dwellers. He is on guard and seems determined to stick together. Wherever she goes, he follows. Although, she doesn't seem too bothered. It's best to keep up appearances. Meadow pipits live in the fringing salt marsh. As ground nesting birds, they depend on this ideal habitat and insects are plentiful. This meal is for someone else. There are precious broods here. Canada geese goslings are supervised at the water's edge. where land meets the sea isn't only a draw for wildlife. Industry thrives. The recent opening of a colossal bridge, the Mersey Gateway, transports us easily across the estuary's unrelenting expanse. The estuary's interconnected world is a fragile one. Without careful management, the bridge's construction could be a real threat to the nature that lives here. Its effects are being closely monitored 
by a team of scientists. Liam Byrne is an aquatic ecologist from ACON. We're just about to head out on the, on the estuary to do some fish surveys. Um, nice and overcast, a bit windy, but should be doable. Liam and his team have been monitoring the estuary since well before day one of the bridge build and continue to do so for the environmental trust set up with the bridge. Trawling nets catch fish from various parts of the estuary, allowing fish stocks to be measured for their numbers and diversity of species. Larger fish are identified and measured on the boat. While smaller catch is taken ashore for later identification. Many adult fish lay eggs on the shallow coastline and these are washed into the estuary's sheltered bay on a high tide. Estuaries provide important nursery areas and so good fish stocks here are vital to future fish populations. Uh, so this is a flounder and we're just measuring him to the nearest mill and uh, yeah, recording him at which site he was caught. It's 102. Any migratory species like um, the smelt we had yesterday and then uh, eels as well, it's a, a good indicator that a river um, and an estuary is healthy right from the mouth up into the freshwater stage. With so much construction, pollution from runoff is a real concern. The engineering of the bridge needs to have worked successfully to minimise the risk of contamination. To find out, Liam and his colleagues take it in turns to visit sampling sites across the estuary to collect sediment and invertebrates, like shrimp. You can't be going on a hovercraft, uh, it's really good fun. And uh, yeah, any, any chance to be out near water for us guys is always great. And beats, you know, sitting in the office in front of an Excel spreadsheet. It's diatom specialist Savannah Warren's turn. Sediment can absorb pollutants easily, affecting microscopic life at the bottom of the food chain. It's crucial for the team to analyse these samples carefully in the lab. So the estuary uh, is one of the richest environments for aquatic and uh, terrestrial um, species. You've got fish, birds, invertebrates, and yeah, they'd all be potentially impacted. Uh, so it's important to mitigate and measure any uh, impacts. Laboratory analysis of the sediment allows Savannah to see life at a microscopic level. So this slide contains some benthic algae called diatoms and they are a pollution indicator. So they respond really quickly when there's changes in nutrients and light and temperature. They form the bottom of the food chain so it's good to monitor them. The various survey results are reported back by ACOM, giving Andrea and the Mersey Gateway Environmental Trust a full picture of the health of the estuary. The reports have shown that there's been no significant negative impact since the construction of the bridge, which we are really thrilled about. So there's been no um, significant changes in the water quality or the number of fish we find in the estuary um, or the numbers of birds that come into the estuary since um, before the bridge was built. Many new developments in the UK significantly reduce the biodiversity of their surroundings. The evidence that wildlife has been mostly unaffected by such a huge man-made change in the landscape demonstrates that with long-term planning and monitoring, we can successfully share our world with nature. From the estuary's mouth all the way to Warrington, 
the trust keeps guard of this natural surrounding, an unusually large area, as well as a 25-year-long commitment. So now we've actually got the chance to improve the estuary with the knowledge we've gathered through our monitoring. I do feel like we need to um, consider nature when we are building, so we're, we're giving something back as well, not just taking. It is possible. Thank you.